Welcome to EasyLearning.Guru. Uh, today we'll be seeing the data modeling design for MongoDB. But before we go ahead, I would like to tell you that what all EasyLearning.Guru offers you. EasyLearning.Guru offers you lifetime LMS access. LMS is a learning management system and you provide a lifetime access to that. We have on-demand support. Uh, you will be provided on-demand support. And the next will be uh, EasyLearning.Guru certification. After completing the course, you will be provided with an EasyLearning.Guru certification. For that, you have to give us a project and a final exam. And after that, you will be provided with this certification. You also have this easy and on-demand rescheduling of your classes. So your classes will be rescheduled in case you are not able to attend the class. Uh, you are will be provided with doubt cleaning sessions in which you can have a one-to-one -one chat with the instructor and all your queries can be sorted there. And all our instructors are MongoDB University certified instructors, instructors so they are experts in their field. So today we will be seeing the data modeling in uh, MongoDB. So first we will have an in introduction that what data modeling in MongoDB is. See data in MongoDB has a flexible schema. You know that the data of MongoDB is having a flexible schema. You do not have a rigid schema, so you can change the schema of MongoDB as and when required, right? So that is what MongoDB provides you. Then MongoDB's collection do not enforce document structure. So you do not have a fixed structure. There is no enforcement on the structure. Flexibility in MongoDB facilitates the mapping of documents to an entity or an object. Therefore, uh, mapping of documents becomes quite easy due to the flexible model that is provided to you. But for data modeling, there are some key challenges that are encountered. See, first is balancing the need of the application. See, whenever you and you are designing a data model, at that time you have to consider these things, and these are actually a challenge which you are supposed to overcome after uh, overcome when you design the data model, right? So, first is balancing need of the application. Whatever your need, uh, your application is for, you have to understand that and your data should be modeled accordingly. Second is your performance characteristics of the database engine. That is like the queries, the update, the processing of your data. You have to handle all that, right? That performance characteristics should be taken into consideration. Next is your data retrieval patterns and how you are actually retrieving the data what kind of data that you uh, you want and how you want to retrieve them so all that all these factors will play a major role uh, in uh, designing your data model right in designing the data that we actually want so now the data model design the, the key decision for designing the data model for mongodb application revolves around the structure of the document and how the application database between your data. See that is the main consideration. You have to see that how your data is kept, how you want to structure it or you how you want your application to represent your data, how your relationship between the data is. So you have to take all these things into consideration and then okay you can go ahead and decide what kind of data model you actually want. So there are two tools that allow the application to represent these relationships. First is your references and the second is your embedded document. So in MongoDB, these are broadly categorized into two, that is your references and your embedded document. See, embedded data model, that are your embedded documents. See, with MongoDB, you have this facility to embed the religion data into a single structure or a document. See, embedded documents uh, data model allows the application to store the related pieces of information into a same database record. So you do, you have this facility that if you have related data, you you do not have to uh, like keep it in four uh, four or five different places and then perform some linking and have to perform lots of queries and fetch your data. You have this simple facility available of embedding the documents and fetching it using a simple query, right? So as a result, the application may need to issue your queries, that, I, that is what I just said, and the updates uh, to complete the common operations also reduces, right? So that is how your data model, uh, embedded data model in MongoDB works like. Okay, so this is an example of embedded data model. What you have here, you have a document 
here. Inside this document, as you can see, you are provided with an ID, a username, and here you can see you have address. The square, the curly braces here represent that you have another document starting from here. So this address is having another document, which is having the detail of the office address and the resident separate uh, address, right? Next is your department. You have different department details, so you can keep it under the department field, having another document and the details of your department. Uh, like document inside the same employee data model, right? So this is how you uh, represent data in MongoDB using embedded data model. Next is your normalized data model. See, normalized data model describes relationship using references between documents. So there are some situations where references become so important part and you have to reference some documents. So in that, for that also you have this facility available that references and these kind of data models are called your normalized data model. See references stores the relationship between the data by using a link or you can call a reference, right? So you, with the help of references what you do, you, you store the relationship of one a document with another document. Applications can resolve these references to access the related data. Okay, so here's an example. You have this user document here, you have this department document and contact document here. Now these documents, like this user document want to have the detail, uh, the department document want to have the detail of the user, right? And the contact document uh, also want to have the detail of the user. So what you do, instead of defining the user and the user details again and again, what you do, you reference it. So this is an object ID one that is referenced, that is of a user document. It is referenced to this department document. So this department document has its own data as well as reference to the user document. So in case you want to fetch some data from the user document as well, you can do it from the same document using the references, right? So that is what you're doing and similar things that you are doing with the contact document. You're having this reference available to your document one, right? So this is how your normalized data model in MongoDB works and is represented. Okay, thank you for watching uh, the video. You can always contact us at, the, at our email ID that is contact at the easyline.guru, our Skype ID easyline.guru, our website www.easyline.guru. Your queries are always welcome. Have a nice day.